Hello, hello, beautiful Taurus. Thank you so much for watching my channel. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade with you today. Um, it is the full moon in Virgo on the 19th of February, and this is going to take us up until March 6th. Yes, it is late. Um, I had to contend with an anniversary of a death, so please pardon me, um, on the 14th of February, and it was a um, significant person. So, uh, yeah, so let's get into your reading. I want to see, I actually did your video and it, it didn't record. So um, I had pulled the card previously and um, I took a sneak peek, but I don't think they want me to do that. <laughs> so I will um, just do it randomly now. I do have to tell you that, um, oh God, this is like pretty grim. I'm sorry that this card came out. Here we go. Black hole. Oh, hush. Um, I do have to tell you, Uranus goes into your sign on the 6th of March. So this is going to take us up until the 6th of March. Um, so I decided just to pull a whole new fresh energy for you guys and see um, what the new message is. It's basically the same message, but a different. That that one wasn't intended for anybody because like, nobody got it. But um, this is representing darkness. It says, the wound is the place where the light enters you. Rumi. Uranus is going to go into Taurus for seven years. So this is going to be a quite transformative time that we're stepping into in the near future. Um, okay, so this says the root of this plant is used for treating muscle spasms and cramps. Uh, okay, so let, that's like, the, that's like the, the, the actual thing, but I want to see the esoteric meaning of it. It says... Um, Okay, it says, even the name of this plant brings to mind darkness and depth. Regardless of your gender, black ho cohosh represents the yin, which is the feminine side of your being. Whatever the subject of your inquiry, some, of, some form of dark fog is shouldering this aspect of your life. Very likely, you can feel this tangibly, and it is possible that you are experiencing a sense of suffocation or a dark night of the soul. Know that this is a necessary part of your initiation at this time. Whether the recent or distant past, your feminine side has been wounded and now is the time for healing. Yin energy is receptive, inward, and lunar, yet it is also highly creative. Through our feminine side, we give birth to new projects, ideas, or circumstances. While giving birth in an inherently difficult and painful pro is a uh, painful process, the reward is new life. Just as black cohosh facilitates labor and birth, it signifies that your current pain is moving you toward a new way of living. Take comfort for this plant brings the healing energy of unicorns, pure and gentle yet penetrating. At this time, it is important for you to look at how you've been wounded. If this is not immediately clear, search amongst your relationships past and present examine the relationships with females in your life especially your mother and other family members you might also study the placement of the moon in your astrological chart the flower essence black cohosh is used for these for those caught in abusive relationships with a propensity toward emotional addiction or attachment if abuse is currently an issue if you need help releasing past abuse seek the aid of a shaman or counselor Okay, um, this has been known as the whiplash remedy because the plant has an affinity for treating this condition. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so the snake and the spine are both symbolic of kundalini energy, the potent force within us all that empowers our creativity. The snake also represents our reptilian nature, the instinctual part of ourselves that operates through fear and anger. Do not shy away from these emotions now, for allowing yourself to feel them will foster their release from your system. You are experiencing a deep healing that will affect your creative capacity to a large degree. As your instinctual nature is repaired, your intuition will become keener, allowing you to avoid future blows. In time and with proper care, the venom will leave your system and your creative life will catch fire. Above all, Black Kohosh coaches you to hang in there. Drawing this card is a signal that the universe loves you. There is also a timeless spiritual aspect of you, your higher self that loves you unconditionally. Please take a moment to feel this in your heart. These forces understand your pain completely and from that, their vantage point, they see how it will benefit you in the long run. 
Ask your higher self to send you the energy needed to complete this healing process and move into health, creativity, purity, and light. Wow. That's heavy. Okay. Um, so this is a relationship that's going to... You, you might have, some of you might have already been through the darkness with this person or the, um, this could be messages of the person that has been through a lot of darkness. Um, what do you want in this relationship? Okay, so we have the soul card. And this is a really deep card, you know, like soul music. Um, Aretha Franklin, I think of, um, you know, like uh, Celia Cruz. <laughs> People who, when they sing, who, who sing from the depths of their soul. This is a deep uh, soul connection, okay, that you're looking to have or you will have with this person. That's why the darkness, it connects the soul. Um, knowledge and this you you can have knowledge from going through so much of this uh, night of the soul right oh my god this is intense guys this is intense miracles wow oh wow okay so the Torian house abundance valuing yourself this person also may need to value themselves get to love themselves maybe that's a big issue in the hang-up maybe um, there's been a lot of abuse a lot of um, like, you know, it's so dark. It's so, there's been a, a time of confusion as well. This is Mercury and Pisces season right now. We're in the shadow of it. The retrograde is going to officially go on on the 6th of March, the same day that Uranus goes into your sign. Um, Mercury is going to retrograde in Pisces, which is about confusion, not having limits. But the way I feel that you can get, a, get away with this energy, which is literally get away, because that's what it's, it's about escapism as well. Um, use your imagination, you know, dive into your creative self because that's all we have is ourselves right now because we can't count on the outside world and it's not going to make sense. All right. So what else do we have? Indecision. Yeah, you're in a place of indecision. Okay. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. If you count on the outside world, you will come to indecision. But if you use your intuition, um, your gut and you rely on yourself, which which is a lot of Taurian energy, self-reliance. You guys are go-getters. You work. You don't mind rolling up your sleeves and doing the hard work. And you have energy that can go like the bull on and on and on and on or the ox. You can outlast many of your co-workers because you just are there for the long haul. But that's not the that's not about love. But I'm just saying, you know, that's how you, you also might have that respect. Um, not respect. Why did I say that? Perspective. <laughs> Already this Mercury retrograde is killing me. Uh, about love. Oh, I want to see your ascended master. El Moriah, awakening presence. The universe is with you. We wear a cloak of protection and love. So you are protected right now. The universe is helping you out. Um, you're going to gain more wisdom from this union. It's caused you already, you know, to gain more wisdom or seek more wisdom, um, be more knowledgeable, get your knowledge aligned with, you know, um, presenting it, offering it to others, sharing it. Okay, that's a big one too. Kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others wonderful um, that's what I just said so you know caring is sharing <laughs> that's my new I've been saying that so much um, and I notice it you know people who share that it's like wow they care they don't even know me they're sharing some some cool stuff their time their energy okay get to know each other learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow you are an earth sign you like to take it mellow and slow you like to get to know this person there might be an age gap you know we have the old man with this woman who looks younger um, there might be an age gap within this relationship um, or or just there's a lot of wisdom from one person to the next okay one person has been through a lot more than the other, or they can offer this wisdom to you. It's, I feel like it's a, but it's a reciprocal energy because it's like, um, it's like breastfeeding to me for some reason. Like when a woman has breast milk and she's like, she needs the baby to suck her because she needs to get that milk out, right? And it's just like, they're both feeding each other, needing, feeling the fulfilling the need that, that, that needs to be had, um, done, <laughs> whatever. I don't know why that came to my head, but okay. Um, let's see let's move forward the beautiful beautiful energy that you have um let's not forget love 
being your authentic self is going to be part of the challenge, I feel. Now we're going to look at um, some more oracle cards here. We'll place these strategically so you can view them. I'm going to cover him because I like that one better. And then we'll get this one. Definitely not going to cover love. Can you see it? Okay. Let's check it out. Oh, these are backwards. Oh, okay. So it, the broken heart is healing. Knowledge and wisdom. Broken heart. Angel of strength. Oh my God! It's taking courage to really go into go into this um, union. There could be karma from the past, you know. Or just clearing of karma. You, you're going to get the signs. But you got to trust the signs. I think um, you're going to have to take time to just continue on your path. Be courageous. And um, keep living in your truth. It, it will come, you know. This energy will come to you. Um, I do feel like on the masculine side that they're healing. They're trying to cut, get closer to the feminine, but they are dealing with a broken heart from the past as well. Dealing with that. Okay, this is cool. This came out on the last reading, by the way. So this is the coolest. You guys are the first ones to be getting this card. This came out twice. So yes, this is a soulmate connection. That's what spirit wants to say here. This is a soulmate connection, okay? There's love. So if you're in separation, there will be a miracle that connects you guys, okay? Um, that's beautiful. So I feel like even with this, I feel like uh, in separation, you might have been in separation and someone went through the dark night of the soul in this, in this scenario union okay and and uh, they've gained knowledge now because they come back with knowledge they come back with knowledge um and their soul evolution soul uh expansion okay um also but also let's take a look at what's stopping the divine feminine from making this connection with um the divine masculine what energies are at play planetary energies the seventh house the area of your life is about long-term, significant partners, romantic, business, or family. Um, so this could be a situation, again, where you do have the love of your life, uh, but this other partner is uh, in, in a contract, marital contract with somebody else, um, or a karmic contract with somebody else, um, or family issues also could be part of the dilemma that's stopping the full union now we have divine masculine and what's the what's stopping divine uh the energy with uh divine masculine in some cases from this union coming to fruition the ninth house sagittarius um is ruled by the ninth house jupiter rules the ninth house jupiter is in sagittarius right now uh this is the masculine getting more spiritual okay broadening your horizons either spiritually academically or in a long journey um so they're they want to better themselves they want to be worthy of of having love like this um because i see look how these colors are so similar to each other um and and they're also spirits working on them upgrading their spirituality making them more um centered and I feel like, you know, this is like kind of like Buddhism. Buddhism was created in the Piscean Age, which we are letting go of. So it's letting go of old ways of, of how relationships really have been in the in this person's past. And um, 
and having the faith that you know a, a, a love's gonna come in but it's it's not gonna be like what the love that they've known examples of what they've had or seen or experienced that's that's the intuition I get for that so um, be kind to yourselves Taurus it's this is a very gentle um, intricate process that's happening and you're gonna have to just love on yourself to attract this love live in your truth um, and have a lot of courage because this soulmate is coming uh, this is until March 6th so hopefully I can hear some messages, comments on how this, this relates to you guys. Okay, also announcements. <laughs> I have a special down below. Really great if you wanna just ask a question, I can send you a video. Also my Patreon page, I'm doing um, poetry recitals there. If you wanna see my face, go ahead, go there. And uh, I got a great offer for like your birthday. If you wanna sign up for your birthday, uh, on the day of your birthday, you'll get a special message, oracle or a tarot message for you. And I also add your numerology and your Chinese animal description. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited about um, embarking on this. Um, and all the information is at the show more box below. Much love. Take care. I'm so glad that this one, this, this reading went super fast, but it was like, I don't know why all the messages just came flooding in. Um, yeah. Thank you. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.